If you've got only a small amount of compost and can't spread it across your whole garden, don't worry, there's a smart way to make it work for you. Today, I'll show you how to create nutrient-packed spots in your garden that will give your plants a real boost without needing to cover the entire area. This is perfect if you're planting seedlings or seeds and want them to get the best start. First things first, choose the area where you want to plant. This could be a section of your garden, a raised bed, or even a big container. Once you've decided, mark the spots where each plant will go. Keeping a good distance between each mark is important, so your plants have room to grow and don't compete for nutrients or sunlight. You can use sticks, small stones, or anything handy to mark the spots. Just make it clear so you don't lose track. Next, it's time to dig your holes. You want them fairly big, depending on the size of your plants. The idea is to create space for the compost and kitchen scraps to mix with the soil, giving roots plenty of room to grow. Bigger holes mean more nutrients concentrated right where the plants need them. And it also makes it easier for the organic matter to break down over time. Once the holes are ready, start adding kitchen waste. Vegetable peels, leftover fruit scraps, or fallen leaves all work perfectly. These scraps will slowly break down and release nutrients like nitrogen, which your plants will love. Even if you don't have fresh scraps, dried leaves or plant residues from around your garden will do the trick. The key is to add organic matter that can decompose naturally. How do you usually prepare your soil before planting seedlings or seeds? After that, sprinkle a little bone meal on top of the kitchen waste. Bone meal is fantastic for helping roots grow strong because it's rich in phosphorus and calcium. If you don't have bone meal, you can use wood ash instead. It adds potassium and can slightly improve your soil's pH. But if you have neither, don't stress. The holes will still be packed with nutrients thanks to the organic material underneath. Now cover everything with a bit of compost. Even a small amount makes a big difference when it's concentrated in one spot. If your compost is running low, covering with the same garden soil is fine. The important thing is to create a mini nutrient zone in each hole that your plants can thrive in. Once your holes are prepared, you can plant seeds or seedlings right away, or you can wait a week or two. Waiting allows the organic matter to start decomposing and gives your plants a richer environment when they go in. Either way, before planting, give each hole a good watering. Moisture is what kickstarts decomposition, helping the scraps and compost turn into nutrients faster. Make sure the water reaches the bottom of the hole so everything breaks down evenly. Remember where you made these enriched spots. Since not every part of your garden has this extra boost, keeping track will help you monitor growth and provide extra care if needed, like additional watering or mulching. These nutrient-rich pockets will support strong roots, healthier leaves, and better overall growth, even if the surrounding soil isn't as fertile. This method is simple, doesn't need much compost, and really lets you stretch your resources. Over time, as the kitchen scraps and compost break down, they'll naturally improve the soil structure around your garden too. That means even the areas you didn't enrich will start benefiting a little, as microbes and nutrients spread. So, if you've been worried about not having enough compost to cover your entire garden, this is the way to get the most out of what you've got. By focusing on these small nutrient pockets, your plants will get a strong start, and your garden will be healthier and more productive without extra work. Puppy's face will 